So on router two, I don't know what the password is once again. I need physical access to the device, so I'm going to turn the power off and turn it back on again and press Control C to break. I'm in ROM monitor again, question mark enter, shows me options, help does something similar. Conf reg allows me to set the configuration register. 2142 is what I'm going to set it to. And then reset allows me to get the router to reboot. Router is now rebooting and will hopefully reboot without a startup configuration applied. In other words, the startup configuration is still there, but as you can see here, is not applied to the running configuration. I'm gonna bypass the initial configuration dialog. Again, I can go to enable or privilege mode and use commands such as show run to see a default configuration. Make sure that you go to privilege mode before you copy the startup configuration. Notice the startup configuration has the secret password set. We don't know what that password is. We can see some other configuration on the router, but note, I went from user mode to privilege or enable mode, and now I can copy the startup configuration to the running configuration and apply it without knowing what the password is. So show run now shows us that password and shows us the configuration of interfaces and EIGRP. I still don't know what the secret password is, but I can now simply type enable secret Cisco to override the secret password. I'll save the configuration. What I still need to do, however, is enable interfaces. That's not done by default. So no shut the various interfaces on the router. I don't actually need to no shut gigabit 001 down. That's not part of the lab, so I'll shut that again. Show IP interface brief. There are our device IP addresses. Interfaces are up. Show IP protocols. We are running EIGRP. Show IP EIGRP neighbor. We've got a neighbor relationship to router one. Let's see if we can ping the loopback of router one. So on router one, show IP interface brief. IP address is 1.1.1.1. So on router two, ping 1.1.1.1. That works. Router one can ping the loopback of router two. It's a good idea to save your configuration often. Again, for the exam, you're going to do it this way. WR may not work in the exam. So let's verify that when we exit and log back in, we can log in with a password of Cisco. And we are able to do that in this example. So that works. Now again, just because we've saved the configuration of the router doesn't mean that things are gonna work. I need to set the configuration register to 0x2102. So that's now done. Again, you don't need to save the configuration once you've set the configuration register. That's a separate parameter. So I've reset the enable password of router one to Cisco and the secret password of router two to Cisco. Now I need to reset the password of the switch.